All right, so in this video, I lucked out, got a pair of sneakers from the sneakers app. I can't believe I hit on one of these three. Uh, this is the new Nike Sakai joints right here. And uh, let's go ahead and show you what we got. And here we have them. I'm thinking of a uh, children's cartoon character. Fill in the blank in the comment section right about now. The colors are super bright and obviously they look like they're gonna be bright, but they're brighter in hand and they just kind of look weird together. I'm gonna to be 100% honest. But since I already have this pair right here, which is completely thrashed, and a point of clarification for you guys out there, I did this video of myself making waffles out of this shoe with my kid because Rejuvenator gave me these for free and said the only way you can keep them is if you do something to destroy them and then send them to us and we'll clean them up. So my kid and myself made waffles. We thrashed these and unfortunately they didn't clean them for two weeks after I sent them. So the stuff inside of them just made them nasty. They got moldy and just gross. So since then they cleaned them up though and sent them back. I double cleaned them. Once I got them back, I bleached them out as well on the inside here. And uh, so, I mean, I really made sure that inside and out these things are legit. And actually I already wore these once and they're just fine. But back to the subject and the reason why I brought them back out is because this colorway is so dope the way that it's compiled together with the kind of the same sort of mustard and green and orange tones together kind of brings the shoe together better than the Barney looking shoe that we have here. The green and the purple are definitely really, really vibrant. Um, the oranges are like, okay, you know, but for me personally, and I don't, you know, I just feel maybe self-conscious. Not a lot of times I can say that I feel that way about wearing some sneakers, but this is one of them though, where I'm like, this is just too loud for me. I don't think I can pull this one off. I didn't even try this one on for this video because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna sell these and try to get something else that I'd rather have. I know a lot of you guys are not gonna agree with this, especially with those hype chasers out there, but this colorway is not it for me. And since the resale is over $500 or around that price point, I personally would rather have the um, Hirachi Adapts or the Adapt Hirachis or whatever. Uh, I think that that's such a futuristic, crazy looking shoe. I really wanted the, the white and black like panda looking colorway. So I think I'm gonna try to sell these and actually trade up and get those other ones. Cause for some reason I hit on these on sneakers, but I struck out on the more expensive one. It is just, it is what it is, I guess, unfortunately. But anyway, for those that didn't know, I already did a detailed review on the Sakai waffles already. I will link it in the description so you guys can check out that video. And it gives you kind of more history on Sakai and you know, the collaboration in general. This one's interesting though, like obviously because of the double swooshes that you can see here. There's also double tongues on the inside one. It does say Nike Sakai on the outside one. It just says Nike sportswear. You do also have double laces on this one, which I found interesting because you have double white laces. It doesn't make it stand out at all. They do have black laces in the bag, but can you even see this with double laces with black? I mean, maybe it will look okay. I feel like they should have used a color combination of the laces on here. And maybe that's why it feels a little off is because the double laces are just plain and simple and white. Uh, this is a see-through mesh that you could see the uh, stuffing and the paper down here is in the bottom of the shoe. And you have kind of a mustard colored uh, liner that is a little bit different than the outside here, uh, which is leather says Nike and then Sakai underneath it on the back tab there. This is a nice little like suede sort of material here on the back and it is different than here. This is kind of a nappy uh, suede here and then here right here. For those that get offended when I say nappy, please don't get offended. I'm, I don't know what else to call it. Rough suede. I just know this is nappy suede from here and here, but leave a comment if you have a better suggestion of what to call it. That's more PC, I suppose. Double sole, as you could see here on the back, and this is where it has this weird orbital craziness on the back. My wife saw that part of the shoe and the other pair was like, those are, she's like, those are terrible. I don't, I don't understand that. And I didn't understand this for the longest time either. In fact, I saw some people cut this little section off to make it more regular looking, but I kind of don't mind it. It's kind of like a spoiler on like a 93 Civic or something like that. It's just really far out there and probably a little bit ridiculous, but I kind of like it regardless. And obviously on the bottom, you can see the waffle pattern uh, on the traction. And if you didn't know, that's really the humble beginnings of Nike. Bonus question for you guys to leave a comment. What was Nike known as before it was known as Nike? I'm sure that you guys are gonna figure that one out. But for those that didn't know, maybe you learned a little something new about the history of Nike. So I think that this is kind of like one of those fun shoes that take it back to the roots, but also flip it up, make it more fashionable and more trendy and like now because of all the double swooshes and all the double craziness on the shoe. I'm surprised to see the hype of the Sakai's uh, just skyrocket, honestly, because it was really, really low. In fact, the Blazers that I have over there, the Blazers were really, really low, close to retail even, and then they just jumped right back up. So 
I don't know what those are going to do, but regardless, I'm happy I got the blue pair of the Blazers as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, I don't know. I feel lucky that I've gotten quite a few of these, but this is just one I'm going to let go of. Personally, 100% honest, just not feeling the colorway. If I would have got the black and gray colorway, super fire to me, I would have kept that one because that one is the ideal looking colorway to me because I already have, again, a colorful one. I would want to tone it down a little bit like the black and gray one so I can wear something crazy like my hoodie here, the ice dye hoodie that I made with it instead of uh, something like this. And of course, some people are gonna leave a comment and say, well, why did you buy them if you didn't like them? Uh, it's because you gotta see them in person. To be 100%, you have to see some shoes in person and on feet even before you really, like you're, before my mind at least switches and goes, okay, I really feel that shoe or nah, I definitely, I don't like that shoe. When you get them in hand and you go, oh, wow, that's quite a bit brighter than I anticipated. And that actually reminds me of like a children's dinosaur or something like that. It just, it's not as appealing. Not that I don't like find nostalgia in some things and like like Optimus Prime stuff, but it, you know, Barney, I mean, I feel like I'm justifying something that I don't need to justify. But regardless, that is my feelings on this sneaker. Tell me your feelings in the comment section down below. I'm getting really, really close to 500,000 subscribers, which is just crazy, crazy, crazy to think about. Uh, so feel free to subscribe if you guys are new. Like the video if you like it. And that is the end of the video. Hopefully you guys have a great rest of the day. We will see you guys for some more sneaker videos, hopefully very soon. Peace guys.